are live. Alright, seems like we're live, good. Okay then. Anyways. Welcome everybody as we happen to go ahead and get set up here. Sorry, just listening. It seems like I'm not sure if that's the game or not. It might be me, honestly. You haven't had the fan on at the moment, so... Well, I guess there's one easy way to check it. Hey Roswell, I'm sorry, I was testing to see something, I apologize. How are you? I think that's about as good as we're gonna get. Oh, I feel good. Oh, I should check Steam, because I bet Steam is doing part of it too. Probably. That should happen to help. Microphone is on. I think we're good to go then. So that seems like that's in game then. Okay, let's go ahead and get a start start on then. I'm not doing too badly. The job's been going well, honestly. Yep, definitely seems like Steam was not helping, so okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and get a start then. Welcome everybody to the stream. Just so you all happen to know, this does happen to... Uh, we have just a little talk at the very beginning of the game. So we're going to go ahead and happen to do that right now. Uh, one second, actually. Testing one other thing, hold on. Yeah, we can do that in a minute. 
Let's go ahead and get started. So welcome everybody, just so everybody knows, this does happen to be a Catholic gaming stream. That means there'll be prayer about once every hour and discussion about going on in the church. There'll also be discussions about if the games played fit theologically wise or with church teachings as we play them. This is a stream for everyone, but we ask that you be respectful of everyone here. If you have a question about the church, please feel free to ask. I'm not a lay person, however, so I may need to find the answer by asking my priest. If you're in research or calling Catholic Answers Live, it may take time. If you have a prayer request, please feel free to post it. If you're looking for other streaming channels run by Catholics, there is Interceptor is My Dog Productions, who is currently doing Final Fantasy VI, Kingdom Hearts III, as well as Shadow of War, uh, My Little Dragon Cafe, and has her own personal blog related to the faith. Then there is also Fortitude, who is primarily a Battle Royale player. Take that as you will. Uh, he also happens to be a theology teacher, as well as does the Bad Catholic Dads podcast, which is currently on hiatus, but is coming back eventually. And then there is also that one fella, Beard Blevins. That's who it is, Beard Blevins. Sorry. There is also Beard Blevins, who's also a swell guy, as well as a theology teacher and primarily a Fortnite player. And then there is also Matt317, who is streaming right now, if you want to go ahead and do a monitor. Um, and he is playing Ace Combat 7, I believe. Looks like Ace Combat 7. I would be watching him if I was not streaming right now myself. And then there is also The Punchening, who is also a swell guy and kind of does whatever games that he happens to want to do. So, you know, there's that. And then there is also that Catholic Gamer dude, who is currently on an indefinite hiatus, was coming, planning to come back eventually and start streaming at some point. Um, and it pretty much covers it. Thank you very much. God bless. Remember that God loves each and every one of you. Go and sin no more. Okay. So let's go ahead and do the readings for today. It does seem like the uh, the audio thing that was going on is probably sand. I kind of don't like that they have sand noises because then it sounds like static. And it's like, oh gosh, am I is my microphone giving that much static? And nope, it was Boulderfall. Thanks, Octopath Traveler. Anyways, <clears throat> let's focus on what's actually important here, which is the first reading for March 11th, 2019, Monday of the first week of Lent. The first reading for today is from Leviticus chapter 19, verse 1 through 2, verse, as well as 11 through 18. The Lord said to Moses, speak to the whole assembly of the children of Israel and tell them, be holy, for I, the Lord your God, am holy. You shall not steal. You shall not lie or speak falsely to one another. You shall not swear falsely by my name, thus profaning the name of your God. I am the Lord. You shall not defraud or rob your neighbor. You shall not withhold overnight the wages of your day laborer. laborer. You shall not curse the deaf or put a stumbling block in front of the blind, but you shall fear your God. I am the Lord. You shall not act dishonestly in rendering judg judgment. Show neither partiality to the weak nor deference to the mighty. But judge your fellow men justly. You shall not go about spreading slander among your kin, nor shall you stand by idly when your neighbor's life is at stake. I am the Lord. You shall not bear hatred for your brother in your heart, though you may have to reprove him. Do not incur a sin because of him. Take no revenge and cherish no grudge against your fellow countrymen. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. The psalm for today is from Psalm 19. Your words, Lord, are, are spirit and life. The law of the Lord is perfect. Refreshing the soul, the decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eyes. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Let the words of my mouth and the thought of my heart find favor before you. O oh Lord, my rock and my redeemer, your words, Lord, are spirit Lord, are spirit and life. Behold, now is a very acceptable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. The gospel for today is from Matthew chapter twenty five, verses thirty one through forty six. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne, and all the nations will be assembled before him, and he will separate them from one from another. As a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats, he will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. A stranger, and you welcomed me. Naked, and you clothed me. Ill, and you cared for me. In prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? 
When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of these least brothers of mine, you did for me. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you accursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry and you gave me no food. <coughs> 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 Pardon me. Ugh. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. A stranger, and you gave me no welcome. Naked, and you gave me no clothing. Ill and in prison, and you did not care for me. Then they will answer and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry, or thirsty, or a stranger, or naked, or ill, or in prison, and not minister to your needs? He will answer, he will answer them, Amen, I say to you, what you did not do for me, for one of these least ones, you did not do for me. And these will go off to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. Amen. The Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Alright, let's go ahead and turn the video capture device back on here. And we should be good now. I don't like that sand noise though, still. All right, Therion, let's go get that chest before I forget it. Stinging Dagger. Ah, uh, we can finally open these chests. It's been a while. I mean, I could equip this, or I could wait 30 seconds for even better gear. Ooh, even more gear. Oh, not yet. Not yet. What do we have here? If I didn't know better, I'd say they were overcompensating for something. Change post. You there. Yes, sir. Yes. Stop dragging Listen your feet. Up. Walk with purpose. Yes, sir. My... We're getting paid a fortune for this job. Do it with pride. I'm more interested than in the people in back there. It's like an army. Just what kind of place is this? Grrr. Those guard dogs look vicious. Yeah, to you. Sure. That's not all. The walls are lined with wire. It just looks like spikes to me. One false move and it'll sound an alarm, no doubt. Yep, trying to scale the walls will be more trouble than it's worth. Hmm, what's this now? What part of no visitors allowed do you not understand? The Ravises have more important matters to attend to than entertain Riff Laugh like yourself. Riff Raff, Street Rat, I don't buy that. It won't take long, I swear. Merely lurch merchant looking to... Merchant, you say? Prove it. Prove what? I came to show the lady of the house some of the finest fabrics in the realm. And we're supposed to just take you at your word? Yes. If you can't show us proof, you can show yourself out. But I... Fine, I'll leave. I swear, the nerve of these hoity-toity types. <sighs> Never thought the front door would be the easiest way in. Time to get my hands on some proof. Oh, one second, there's a chest here. Iron helm. Like, it's not good stuff compared to what we already have, but it's better than nothing. What 
Well, if there's an armor turn friend. Those bloody ravices. Don't they know some of us actually have to work for a living? Turn away at the gate, join the club. You too? But why? They're doing it to everyone. Rumor has it they're guarding some great treasure inside. But I'm not after their treasure. I just wanted to show the lady of the house my wares. And they told me I need a proof, as if this sack of silk dresses isn't proof enough. Indeed, right. you'll need a letter of introduction to get inside. A letter of what? Uh... House Travis only does business with the most esteemed merchants and traders. So how can I get one of these letters? It's not easy, that's for sure. First you have to make a name for yourself here in town. Once you've proven yourself a reliable trading partner, then, and only then, will the Ravises write you a letter. That said, you could count the number of people who've earned one on one hand. Well, that sounds like an awful lot of work. Are you sure there's no other way? I can think of at least one. Lifting it from the pocket of someone who's done the work for me. I know. Oh. Kind of don't want to, honestly. I'll come back for that. In the legit way. Lipsies. Just out of curiosity, how long do you plan how long do you plan on following me? So you noticed. For thieves, you aren't very discreet. You're keener than most, friend. As are we. We can tell you've come for the Ravis fortune. If the army surrounding the manor is any indication, it's more than worth the trouble. And have you actually seen this treasure? You don't need to see it, just look at what they've got guarding it. Guards, dog straps, you name it, they got it. And you came all this way to warn me. How thoughtful. Look, we've got a proposal for you. And I've got an answer. No. Just hear us out, mate. We can help each other. Yeah. My partner here has been inside. He's seen the traps they've got up close. Set up close, whatever. <laughs> Heck, he walked straight into one and set off an alarm. Sh shut up! You said you wouldn't tell anyone about that. Anyway, I got out just fine and we're here now, so what do you say? It won't be easy to carry all the treasure on your own. We're offering you a helping hand. I've already got two hands. That's enough for me. So you think you're too good for us, is that it? I'm a thief, not a nanny. You're an ungrateful guy, that's what you are. Listen, I don't have time to entertain you clowns. I have places to be. You're not going anywhere. Erg. Get out of my sight. Are you with me, mate? Speak to me. Mate? Flashback. That town looks awfully familiar. Thieves! You won't get away. They're on to us. Darius, this way. Got it. Darn, we've lost them. They can't have gone far. Let's check the back alley.
Yep, I'm pretty sure we've been to this town. Blipsies. Blipsies. They're oh, gone. Right. We should be safe for now. That went better than I expected. I wish they could have seen the look <laughs> on their faces. Ah, they deserved it for treating us like teapots. We might be small, but we're smarter than they'll ever be. You can say that again. We put our loaves together. No one can stop us. Take a butcher's at all the loot we got. A butcher's? What? Yeah, it's hmm. quite the haul. Show a little more enthusiasm, mate. This is all ours now, matey. Right. We knew what we wanted, and we took it with our own hands. That's the spirit. All the world's treasures are ours for the taking. If you say so, partner. I do. Mark my words. We're going to be the greatest tea leaves the world's ever seen. I don't get this terminology. Darius. But this is no time for nostalgia. I need to get myself one of those letters. No. No. I've already got your stuff. In a legit way. When you've been in the business as long as I, the Ravises will be begging you for a visit. It's all about experience. Ah ha 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 ha. Lucky for me, your experience hasn't taught you when to keep your mouth shut. I don't care. Now with a hundred percent miss or chance, won't be. Pleasure doing business with you. Now to pay a visit to Ravis Manor. Oh, pardon me. So I'm going to sneak in the mansion. Yeah, what is it? You want to pair up with me on this? You sure you're feeling alright? Hmm, the marked house Ravis. Just keep quiet and try not to get in the way, okay? I don't work with partners. Joins party. I guess we can do merchant. Okay, so for the most part. Okay. Alright. Maya and Miguel. And I think that should pretty much cover it, so make sure I'm not missing anything that I really need. Uh, 
Ah, oh, darn. I was hoping for a cheaper. Well, that's alright. Didn't want to steal it. It's probably gonna be a short stream tonight, honestly. I'm kinda tired already. I got a couple things that I need to do tonight as well, still, before I go to bed, so. But I did at least want to get here and progress the game. At least get the Tyrion done. If I can fool them, I'm in. Time to sell the merchant. Well, technically you are a merchant at the moment. Good day, sirs. I've come to call on the Ravises. Would you kindly announce my arrival? I don't see anyone today. Be gone with you at once. Be gone, I say. Yeah, something tells me this one's wor bark is worse than its bite. Let me introduce myself, you see. I'm a merchant of some repute. Merchant of repute, you say? Don't make me laugh. You ought not to judge a man by his robes. As a matter of fact, I was personally summoned by the lady of the house. And I doubt she would react kindly upon hearing I was turned away. Summoned? You? You think we're gonna believe that cod swallow? <laughs> I do. If we had a leaf for every rotten thief who gave us that story, we'd be as rich as the Ravises. But since we aren't, we're here to we're here protecting their fortune from would-be swindlers like you. Heh. <laughs> Thought you could outsmart us, didn't you? The next time you're summoned, remember to bring your letter. Would you be referring to this letter, perchance? What? How did you get that? It must be a fake. Now for the finishing blow. If you still aren't convinced, I fear there's not much else I can do. I'll take my leave, but I will give Lady Ravis a full report of what happened today. Wonder how she will fit to deal with this affront to my good name. Well, wait, sir. We're only doing our jobs. Yeah. You may pass. Why, thank you, gentlemen. Now the real fun begins. Yep. I'll just sneak in through that window over there. Ugh, pardon me. Oh, where are you? Nothing. Great. Broadsword. Yeah. Like, to be fair, if we didn't happen to equip him already. Probably wouldn't be bad stuff, truly. Wow, can't even go out that way. Okay. I was about to say, come on, I'd like some levels. Well then. Oh, I feel you. That's good. How about you? Yeah, maybe. Oh, he did break him. Cool. You got more than you for. One level up. Or two levels ups, actually, for Therion. Cool. We'll make him get the levels that he needs fast. So you guys are weak to sword at the very least. Here I go. One. Well then. Two. No. Oh man, if I don't finish them off now, Therion's not gonna be able to. I will cut you down. Okay. 
That works. Gotta get that extra XP and JP, baby! I gotta say, I'm glad that we have experience in JP boosting items. Tyrion, you're not gonna do much good, to be quite honest here. Uh, okay. Just go ahead and... I don't think we'll get as much money. Or the experience. Not as much experience. Darn. Okay. Experience is one of the things we need. Money we need, too, to be fair, but... Hope that you are weak to uh, level slash. I will cut nope. You okay. Uh, the thrill of the fight. <laughs> Therian's still getting levels though, so whatever. You do have a sword, don't you? You do. No, you're actually strong enough now to kill them. Which makes enough sense, actually. Considering that he does happen to have one of the end game items on him, so. Go ahead, jobs. Nope, skills, pardon me. Therion. Uh, we'll just wait till after this dungeon, actually. See how much you get. <laughs> Curious. We'll probably start the next one tonight, too, but not gonna be going for a terribly long stream tonight. The battle is truly joined. I will cut you down! Just about an hour and a half, really. With each battle, I grow strong. The stream times will get longer as we as I happen to get more used to these times of working, honestly. They won't be three hours, they'll be about two and a half hours. That way I can, you know, spend time with my wife and such, but I feel like I would say it's a short amount either. Oh, nope, not bad. Okay. Well, Therion, you do happen to be a couple higher levels higher now. Your sword should be pretty decent. Oh, not not decent enough, so. To be fair, you probably would be if you were level 11. So. Can't give you too much guff, honestly, Therion. That's true. How are you, by the way, Sky? I'll do my best. Uh, let's see, doggy. Doggy, go down the hole. I will cut you down. I'm not too bad. I'm a bit tired. It's not going to be a very long stream tonight, but I wanted to at least keep working my way through Octopath Traveler, honestly. So it's probably only going to go for about another hour tonight, honestly. T 
Typically, I don't like doing short streams, but I have a couple things I need to do tonight still. Oh, not enough. Not enough. Uh, oh, you do have a dagger, that's right. No, I know, I'm just telling you, I just, yeah. Most most of the time I won't do short streams. I do not like doing short streams. It's an anomaly here. I like being able to actually get with the community, and typically I don't think you could do that unless you happen to do it for two hours, really. Well, How about sweet. You? That wouldn't be enough. Oh well. Just don't get as much experience this time. With each battle, I grow To be the fair, Therion's gained some pretty decent experience because we have those items that boost experience as well as JP, so. I'm okay with that. Victory shall be mine. Yeah. Let's do it again. I will cut you down. Well, I probably could have. That's alright, too late now. I grow strong. But yeah, I'm hoping to finish Therion's and move on to the next character, honestly. Or finish Therion's chapter one. I'm not expecting to finish Therion's chapter tonight. The battle is the Oh, okay. Not quite what I was expecting, but okay. That works too. Oh, nothing in here. That's unfortunate. Just double check. Yeah. I have been playing a bit of Final Fantasy VI lately, though. I've actually been enjoying it a lot. Ooh, dear, and you missed. Boy, you can't go missing. You can't go missing. That's how you make th people think you're weak. That's how you make people think you're weak. Alright, you're already level 12. Which is good, actually. Uh, I don't feel like you guys attacking me. Blast them. I think we just killed them and incinerated them. Ooh, a nut. Uh, maximum SP, eh? Hmm, thought I would have used this by now. Belia? Uh, I guess I'll throw that on you, Ulbrick. And let's see. Oh, Ulbrick. This critical is doing pretty nicely, I gotta admit. Your elemental attack is starting to catch up to Ulbrich's physical attack, which is a good thing. In fact, once. 
Oh, we already have surpassing power. Don't need it quite yet, but me. Whatever. Just go ahead and finish them off, old brick. Alright, everybody say bye to Tressa, because we're replacing her next, unfortunately. I like Tressa. I didn't think her story was good, but she's an amusing character. Ooh, pardon me. Alright, where's the boss? Actually, good job. What to do? Good job. Victory shall be mine. Okay. Good job, Ulbrick. The thrill of the fight. All right, who's ready to see Therion's Chapter One boss die? Pretty much instantaneously, I think. So this is the amazing treasure everyone is talking about. It looks like an ordinary gemstone to me. Can't imagine it's worth all that much. The jewel before you is worth more than your mind could hope to fathom. Your inability to discern as much is disconcerting, to say the least. I bet Tressa could identify it. Who the hell are you? Not just anyone can sneak up on me like that. I should be the one asking you. He's not question. wrong. Not just anyone could have made it this far into the manor, after all. You won't get answers by stroking my ego. What about by scalping you? I meant it as nothing but genuine praise. Allow me to congratulate you on being the first thief to make it here. You say it oh, they did. Just so, we tighten security for that very purpose. We figured no thief worth his salt would be able to turn down such a challenge. Go on. To this end, we even ask the barkeeper. Ooh. Out. His job: find promising thieves and spin tales about this manner. In other words, you tricked thieves into trying to rob this place. Think of it more as appealing mm. to their inner nature. The great treasure of Ravus Manor, guarded by a veritable army. There goes my phone. What thief could pass up such glory, such riches? We had such high hopes, but were constantly met. But finally, one has proven himself worthy. I should have seen this coming. Probably. Probably. 
And yet you did not. And I find myself most grateful for your lack of foresight. So what's your angle? They need you. Family I curse. I not explain that to you. Maybe I don't know. <sighs> Allow me to introduce myself. My I'm gonna call you Heathcliff. Heathcliff. How's that sound? I am a butler in the service of House Ravis. You expect me to believe an ordinary butler snuck up on me? No, Mr. Bond. I expect you to die. Anyway, who you are won't matter once I'm out of here. <laughs> Now, if you'll excuse me. I assure you, you won't be going anywhere anytime soon. I just like to imagine Ulbrich just let him get slapped down because he's a thief. It's like, mm-mm. Heathcliff, I have a problem. I like you, but that statement was very wrong. You're about to get... You're about to get stomped. Let's get this over with. Alright. Who's ready for a first turn kill? Maybe. We'll see. Done. Who's ready to keep seeing that for the next couple bosses? So, you can hold your own in battle as well. I mean, I don't know if Therian can hold his own battle. His teammates can. It seems I underestimated you. That makes two of us. Was that a part of your butler training? I see you still have some reservations about my true profession. I mean, can you really play them? Though I'm sure my victory here lends my words. Your victory? Oh, he didn't misspeak. What in the? Any thief worth his salt should recognize that band. Oh, I bet he does. The mark of a convict. The fool's bangle, as some call it. Undeniable proof of a thief's humiliating blunder. Get this off of me! Is that supposed to be Therian yelling with his mouth open? I'm not sure there. I do not take my orders from you. Oh, Heathcliff, who do you take your orders from? I've attached it to your arm for a reason. If anyone is to see it, they shall know of your failure here today. Why, you? He got you good, Therian. Gotta admit. However, I imagine your pride will not permit you to be seen with it. And that makes it perfect leverage for negotiations. 
negotiations. You may have broken into my home, but for now, I will overlook your transgressions. Oh, great. More company. You know what they say. Two's company, three's a crowd. Pardon my belated introduction. My name is Cordelia Ravis, and I am the lady Are you of the now? house. Regards to your decorator. They sure have a way with traps. Allow me to explain. The treasure you are after is a family heirloom known as the Dragonstones. Oh. Yeah, don't say. The Dragonstones have been in my family for generations. And you've had to sell the other three in order to make ends meet. Dragon stones. I see one. Yes, once there are more. But the stones were stolen during the chaos following. Oh, the they were stolen. Never mind. Fortunately, Heathcote was able to recover the sapphire stone. What touching devotion. Is this the part where I move to tears? Nope, it's the part where if you go recover the other three, they'll get rid of your thief's bangle. Perhaps, once you understand your place in this story. If you collect the three remaining stones, we shall remove the band from your arm. So you kind of walked into that one there, Therion. So, See. this was your plan all along. Yes, but please understand. I had no choice. Well, aren't you too clever? Set I think it's pretty clever, Theron. I don't know about you. Don't thieves often say the ensnared has only yep. himself to blame? Yeah, they do. You done you did you done yourself, kid. For a butler, you sure know a lot about thieves, old man. You may have had an acquaintance or few, would be my guess. I dare not bore you with my story when there are more <sighs> pressing matters at hand. Will you undertake Miss Ravis's There's mission? There's not really much of a choice, really. If you He's love him. Do the job. Excellent. Then I pray your journey will be a successful one. That would be good. Hey, jerk. Oh, you're back. Tale to tell, too. I'll trade it for a drink. Afraid I don't deal in that currency. You sure, friend? Listen, I just came from Ravis Manor. I had a lovely chat with a fellow named Heathcote. Maybe you know him? I think you mean Heathcliff there, Therion? Did warn you not to go there. So, is it everything you expected it to be? All that and more, and now I'm awfully thirsty. 
I might need two drinks to get this bad taste out of my mouth. <laughs> Coming right up. Thanks, Parky. Okay, now it's time for us to leave and then come back into town so we can get the quest. Then we got a lot of backtracking to do through previous dungeons in order to get all the locked chests. Or we could just say heck it, which might end up happening. Mr. Therion! Mr. Therion, Mr. Therion please wait! Therion, I doubt there's voice acting here. Ugh, what now? Apparently there is voice acting here. Journey. Oh. As it is at my behest that you're setting out. Look, I'm just fulfilling my half of a bargain. Nothing more, nothing less. I understand that, but. He's right, milady. This is simply an agreement between us and a skilled but short-sighted thief. Yeah. Exactly. There is something you should know. What is it, Heathcliff? Tell us your secrets. As you saw, I recovered a blue stone. It is known as the Sapphire right, Dragonstone. Know that. The remaining three are the Dragonstones of Ruby, Emerald, and Gold. I could have guessed that. Each named for its sheen. And if I steal them all back for you, you'll remove this band. You have my word. Your word. Well, that sounds legitimate. That Any does have to be a good question. Looking? Rumor has it that a scholar in Noble Court is researching the Ruby Dragonstone. Noble Court. Great. I'll sure you will. Mr. Therion! What is it this time? Good luck! Please, do take care out there. <laughs> Did I say something amiss? No, he's probably just actually feeling human emotions for once. Never thought a man of my talents would be working for someone like. Uh, it's nothing. All we'll right, get the stones back soon. Just leave the thieving. And so through and so forth, his mission would cheap begrudgingly accepted to retrieve the remaining three dragon stones of House Ravis. They might have the mark of a shame. Move from his arm. Little did he know what fate awaited him. Back into town. Then we'll go get Cyrus. Have we? Did you just have nothing? Is that what it was? Well, he had something actually. Whatever shall I do? Drop my precious egg while I was crossing the bridge. You haven't seen it, have you? On my honor, it was broken. Okay. I'll have to do that. I don't think I have it.
nothing that I'm interested in, at least. Have I beat you up yet? Is a good day for battle. Well, I at least haven't found your weakness, so no. I can tell you that much. nothing in here, so probably. Nope. Nope. Nada. Nope. Just gotta make sure. Yes! There's something I was looking for. Cool. There's a spine chilling rumor going around that I scarce believe. The folk of the Slumtown are planning to rebel against the Highborn. Garrison made said they've been confiscating weapons by the cartload. Here's what they've been So you see. Did I get all the weapons yet? I don't know. We'll go find out in a second. Nothing there. I don't think there's anything here. Looks like it's prayer time, which we'll do here in one second. Oh, another quest. Cool. Lovely. Hmm. Why, well, hello, that light in your eye. You have the look about you I like. Alas, you're not quite the one I'm looking for. Ah, uh, I feel like I've been searching all my life for the one perfect person. The woman. I think Whoa. she might be the one for me. I have plenty of confidence in my sword. Countless battlefields have I conquered yet. It was only when I realized from the field of war that I realized it. Let's see. Nothing here. Alright, Alphys. Don't make it too easy now. Let us fight with honor. What are you weak to? Victory shall be mine. Yep, you are weak to that. Victory yep. shall be All right. mine. With each battle, I grow stronger. Hmm. You are rather skilled in battle yourself. I said it's a little bit more than skilled. Haha. -ha. I saw your battle just now. I've been searching for some time for the perfect person. I've also been searching for my perfect mate. Ellipses. But you are not that person. What? You should have golden hair and eyes of the deepest blue. Ha. Huh. Yes. Despite his name, he would surely never dare to cross me. Yes, his devotion to me would be complete. He would give me everything, his whole life, his life's blood, down to the last drop. When I find this perfect man, everything will change. The entire world will change. No, it doesn't seem like you're him. Very well, then. Heh. Yeah. Well, wait, but you're my... Trust me, if, if that's who I think it is from what I've accidentally spoiled myself with, you don't want to have anything to do with her. Who's a good doggy? Who's a good doggy? Alright, I think it is prayer time. Let's go ahead and pause for a second. Mute the audio. Or video. Game. So, alright. As though you said, and as we've seen here, we happen to have prayer about once every hour, and it has been an hour since we started streaming. So let's go ahead and find a prayer. And we'll continue on. Oh. 
That'll work, actually. Yeah, let's do two of these. Okay. Alright. In the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. O oh Jesus, I pray for your faithful and fervent priest, for your unfaithful and tepid priest, for your priest laboring at home or abroad in distant mission fields, for your tempted priest, for your lonely and desolate priest, for your young priest, for your dying priest, for the souls of your priest in purgatory. But above all, I recommend to you the priest dearest to me, the priest who baptized me, the priest who absolves me from my sins, the priest at whose masses I assisted, and who gave me your body and blood in holy communion, the priest who taught and instructed me, all the priests to whom I am debted in any other way. O oh Jesus, keep them close to your heart and bless them abundantly in time and in eternity. Amen. Most merciful Jesus, lover of souls, I pray to you, by the agony of your most sacred heart, and by the sorrows of your immaculate of your immaculate mother, to wash in your most precious blood the sinners of the world, who are now in their agony, and who will die today. Heart of Jesus, once in agony, have mercy on the dying. Amen. O gentle heart of Jesus, ever present in the blessed sacrament, ever consumed with burning love for the poor captive souls in purgatory, have mercy on them. Be not severe on your judgments, but let some drops of your precious blood fall upon the devouring flames. And merciful Savior, send your angels to conduct them to a place of refreshment, light, and peace. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all evil spirits who wander the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. St. Maximilian Colby, pray for us. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Alright, let's go ahead and continue back on. Still have a little bit of stuff to do in this town. Not much, but a little bit here. Then we'll go start working on Cyrus's for Wednesday. And that should be a full stream, I think. Unless something happens, which is a possibility, admittedly. And I've already talked to both. Oh, there's Bright Dragon Egg. I was gonna say new person, but nope, not new person. There's another quest down here, though. Can I purchase something from you? Uh, not that I want. Oh, you want to join a thieves gate? No, I didn't think you would. The thing is, Filchin's too much like hard work for my liking, so I want to quit. But I've got to find a replacement before I do. That's one of the rules of Marta's gang. You'd be surprised how hard it is to find reliable outlaws these days. So how about it? You want to take my place in the gang? Huh? What's that you say? Marta's gang gives money to the orphanage? Apparently, Roswav. Hang me, the boss never breathed a word of it. So you mean the coin I've been stealing has gone to helping orphans. Now that shines a different light on things. Maybe theory is a noble game after all. No it's not. Get a job, donate to the orphanage. I tell you what, friend, I think I'll stick to being a robber for now. Oh no. Thanks be to you, I'm a happier man to have met ye. Just just No. Oh, man, really? That's... Okay, game, I guess. Let us fight That's one with way them. to do it, I suppose. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much, Ross. It's like, no, that's not what you should be doing at all. Yeah. We don't need more Robin Hoods, thank you. Okay. Have I got all the weapons? I guess I hear Travel Banner. Alright. 
Tell me, Ulbrich, how do you keep your skills as sharp as you do? Well, each day I practice various sword strokes and do exercises to build my strength. I always work on the fundamentals. For those are the foundations upon which all fighters must build. A wise choice. What about you, Therian? Do you have any training? Nope. Never was one for practice, for practice's sake. For me, experience is the best teacher. I see. I have an idea. Let's say we train together. Didn't you hear what I just said? A man cannot achieve such remarkable agility just by sitting in the alehouse. So he must train. Yet he claims other way. The question is why. Look, I... I think training together is a splendid idea. In fact, I think I'll join you. What's the expression? Two's company and three's even better? Something even like that. Something like that. Fine, fine. But just this once, okay? It's a deal. Then let us go outside and begin. Okay, so we have all the weapons. Do I just have to turn them in, or what? So you st yes. Uh, apparently, Ross, but it's not happening. And if so, Therion would die very, very quickly. Was that so? You confiscate all the poor folks' weapons and not a blade remains in their possession? Fair it be to you, Traveler. That's a fine deed if it be true. Now they're defanged. We need to feel the poor folk and the rebellious plotting. Truth be told, I was once one of them, until his lordship saved me from a life on the streets. Aye, the highborn have more gold than the rest of us, but they're fair and just and mistreat no one. There's good on both sides. If we only had the sense to talk to one another. Yeah. Better than inside a war that'll make everyone poorer than a four. We're all in your debt, traveler. 2,000 gold. Wow! Alright, we'll come back for all this stuff later. Let's go do Cyrus next. At least start Cyrus, I guess would be the better way to put it. Uh, Therion, you're level 22. Not that we couldn't do it right now, of course. <laughs> you got anything good? Nope. How about you guys down here? Nope. Already done stuff from you. Okay. I might have missed you guys, though, actually. Crab battle. Uh, nothing there. Maybe I talked to you? Oh no. Okay, we'll come talk to you in a second there, uh whatever your name is. Gotta go talk to the other guys first. Cyrus, that's his name. Anything? Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay. Yeah, it seemed like we were gonna spar, but maybe not, I guess. All these people and you can't talk to them. Anything back here? Not particularly. Nothing here. Like that's a bunch of people you can't talk to, I'm not gonna lie. I personally like my villagers being able to be talked to. 
Oh, did you hear that they're making a uh, prequel to Octopath Traveler for a uh, phone, by the way, Roswav? I'm probably going to skip that, to be quite honest with you. If they were making it for a Switch, I'd be down for that. Supposedly they are making a real sequel as well, so... Okay, so I've at least been here a little bit, obviously. Got any nuts? Nope. How about you? Nada. Alright, uh, Cyrus, let's go activate your stuff. We can at least get Cyrus' stuff started. Did we heal? No, but that should be enough SP. Hmm, yes. I think I know now who stole that tome. Perhaps I should go have a little chat with him, just to make sure we all understand one another. His name is Cyrus, and he is a scholar. This is Atlas, um, nestled in the fertile plains of the Flatlands. It is home to the Royal Academy, where many a scholar studies night and day, to bring the light of knowledge to the Royal Family to all the realm. He passes his days in the halls of the Great Library, devouring tomes to his heart's content. It is in that library where he learns of a grievous, grievous theft. Certain that one of his fellow scholar, scholars is the culprit, Cyrus sets out alone to confront the man. In his shadowy subterranean study. You'll need wise allies in the path he has chosen. Yes, yes. Bye, Tressa. I enjoyed having you. We'll see you again soon. And so it was that so Atlas Dam was founded Atlas some two Dam centuries ago. Wow, this place looks nice for ago. Ago. Century is a hundred years, never mind. Indeed, our fair city state is among the longest standing on the continent of Auster. Anyway. Thought I saw something. But there was another city state with a history as long and proud as our own that came to a tragic ruin only. Ah, uh, is it Hornsburg? I bet you it's Hornsburg. Now who can Hornsburg. Tell its name? How about you, Therese? <laughs> I, um, I think it was... Pardon me. Now, now. No need to get all flustered. There's no shame in not knowing an answer, so long as you have a desire to learn. The answer is in your textbook. Go on now, look it up. Yes, Professor. Hornberg. I believe it was Hornberg. That is correct. No. Oh. Okay. Hornburg was ruled over by a royal family, 
said to be descended from priests of an ancient and long forgotten religion. On the other hand, our fair Atlas Dam was founded by one of the original clans that inhabited the flatlands. Oh, one second. Who can tell me how many clans lived in the flatlands at the time? Your Highness? Sorry, I wanted to get back to that ASAP. The histories have it that eight clans did live in the flatlands in those days. Correct you are, your highness. Pardon me, sorry. It was a time of great strife here in the Flatlands, as the eight clans waged a long and bitter war. Change would come when the armies of Grandfort invaded these lands some two centuries ago. At the time, the rulers of Grandfort sought to exert their influence over territories inland. Ironically, this compelled the warring tribes oh, yeah. to put aside their differences and unite against their... Oh, but look at the time. Uh, we'll pick up where we left off next time. Don't forget to read chapters three and four before our next lecture. I'll try not to. And be prepared to answer questions on any of the material within. Voice acting territory. Ah, oh, oh. Professor Albright, Mercedes. I mean, I know Mercedes is a real name, but I just can't take it seriously due to cars. Mercedes from the Royal Library came by with a message for you. Seems today is your lucky day. You've been granted permission to enter the special ar archives. Not like cars, the movie, but just cars in general. You know, Mercedes Benz. Splendid. Splendid. Finally, I can begin my research. Library is just as da 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 da. Make for the library. Oh, we don't have access to your stuff yet. Hi, Therese. Whoopsies. <laughs> Profess. <laughs> Professor Albright. Oh, did we get this special stuff? <laughs> Pre 
really? There's not full voice acting. Okay. Well, thank heavens you're still here. I thought I had missed you. Your Highness. What can I do for you, Your Highness? She can spare the time. I had a question about something we learned today. But of course, Your Highness. It would be my pleasure to answer anything. For all, my role as your tutor is as important to me as any of my research. Fortunately, I cannot spare much time. Is the question a quick one? Yes, Professor. It will not take long. Very astute of you. I see, a shame that. I do, however, have a theory of my own. I believe that the royal family of Hornburg were guardians of ancient power. Mind you, this is not idle speculation. My theory is based on the fact that. Let's continue the discussion another time. My apologies for apologies for keeping you, Professor. No need for apologies, and it would be my pleasure, Your Highness. That such questions occur to you is a sign of a sharp and curious mind. The lectures on the history of the realm are most fascinating to me. For if I do not learn of our past, how can I hope to lead my people to a bright future? Most admirable philosophy, Your Highness. The people of this land are truly fortunate to be led by one of such wisdom and kindness. As I am truly fortunate to have the opportunity to serve in some small way. You are far too kind, Professor Albright. I am proud to be your student. Ah. Pray do not forget your assignment, your highness. Sorry. I should probably close out of Discord. I'm getting distracted now. Of course, Professor.
Oh no, I'm getting very distracted. Time to stop. I, I mean, no, good day, Professor. Alright, I think at this point, it's close enough. I need to go shower and do some other stuff. And I am also getting super distracted, so it's best for me to just get off while I realize I'm getting distracted. So, Thank you very much for watching, everybody. You make sure that you all happen to have a wonderful day. God bless, and remember that God loves each and every one of you. Go and send no more. Good night, guys. God bless. I will be back tomorrow with an actual, probably full-length stream, depending on circumstances. I don't see why it wouldn't, but good night, guys. Thank you for joining me as well.